Yes, Sri Ram, text completion. Uh, let's look at the words below. Downsizing. Downsizing means reducing. Reducing the staff, retrenching. R E T R E N C H. Retrenching means uh, removing people, firing people, or you know, sacking, removing them. Or downsizing can also mean reduce the size of the operation. Booming, you know, booming. That means doing very well. Fulgent means radiating lot of light. Effulgent, refulgent. Hmm? Okay, second blank. Be lie, yes, contradict. Vindicate, justify, or prove. Bamboozle, cheat. Though he claimed the business was dash, his irritability dash that claim. Pause, please. Yes, the answer is booming and be lied. He is claiming that it is booming, but he seems to be irritable and that is contradicting his claim. Okay, be lie means contradict. Okay, next. Comparable menacing is threatening. Augment is add and increase. The rules of engagement for United Nations troops stationed in Bosnia prohibit deadly force unless all dash actions have been exhausted. Pause, please. The answer is alternative. Next, dogma is a rigid rule. Dogma, uh, the dogma that Jesus is the Son of God, the dogma that Ram is God, the dogma that Allah is God. Or the dogma that Prophet Muhammad is the last, last of all prophets. These are all dogmas which can't be proved. So dogmatic means very rigid. Dogmas are not all bad, though the word carries a negative connotation. Some dogmas are very good. See the dogma of uh, karma theory. We believe that you know if you do good, uh, you will get the benefits, and if you harm somebody, uh, then you will have to pay. Now this is a good dogma. Because actually there is no proof. On the contrary, it looks like uh, all crooks and evil, evil people and rascals and criminals are having a nice time and uh, good people are suffering. There is evidence for that. So that means there is not much evidence or in fact no evidence uh, to prove the karma theory. But if everyone believes in that, society will be better. People will not commit crimes because then they will be scared. So these are good dogmas. Uh, there is another dogma in Hinduism, you see. We believe that God is there in everyone, including the animal, the tree, uh, even stones and all people. So that's a good dogma. Now, because of that, we tend to respect everyone. We don't want to harm anyone. We don't want to hurt anyone because God is there. So un if we are forced to fight, we will fight. But otherwise, we will be we will do namaste. That means we we are bowing down to the presence of God in you. So that's a nice dogma. A God, nice dogma. Whether God is there or not, that is secondary and it can't be proved. So that's a good dogma. But dangerous dogmas are, you know, when I have to convert you or you have to be killed. That's a dangerous dogma. And dangerous dogmas are like trium triumphalism. Triumphalism means uh, the, uh, trying to, you know, show that your religion is superior and eventually we will convert all of you or kill you and we will establish our religion all over the world. This is triumphalistic religion. Uh, so many religions are triumphalistic. Sanatan Dharma Hinduism is not. So dogmas, not all dogmas are bad. Some are good. Though the word dogma carries a negative connotation, dogmatic is a negative word. Dogmatic means rigid, doctrinaire. Okay, rest of the words are all simple. Despite its lofty goal, now lofty means very philosophic, sublime, elevated, exalted. In cricket, lofted shot means in the air. Ground shot, lofted shot. So a lofty goal means a very high goal uh, with high values, high moral values. Despite its lofty goal, truth, many scholars maintain that law as dash is a highly regulated street fight. <laughs> law, now please, please pause. This is not an easy one. Yes, the answer has to be law as a profession. So the goal is lofty, but as a profession, law is nothing but a highly regulated street fight. Yes, Shri Ram.